Hello everyone. How's everyone today? Welcome to the Dirt Road Farmer. Well, we've got a lot of planting to do today. Uh, let's put it this way, we've got more to do to today than what we're going to get done. But uh, that's okay, I mean that's normal. That's always normal on this farm. Uh, but uh, we're just going to focus today on getting some fields planted. And uh, get some crops growing while we harvest other crops. If you harvest all your crops at one time, then you don't have any growing for later. <laughs> so, and this farm... It's a constant, it's a constant uh, demand for cash flow because a lot of labor, a lot of seed and fertilizer cost, a lot of fuel, yeah. Okay, now I've already got this guy programmed in. Uh, Okay, and we're going to plant cotton back in this field. Let's just tell him to go to work. And I've got him set to skip a row. So, yeah. Everything looking good. Alright, we'll watch him until he uh, decides to... Uh, make his turn up here and uh, make sure that he skips his row make sure he gets turned around okay and uh, then we'll get into another tractor another planter down on the south end of the farm and and get him planting so I'll get back with you when we get a little closer to the end of the field all right we're getting close to the end of the field. We just want to make sure that he uh, gets turned around okay. Which I'm sure he will. Uh, but you never know. <laughs> you never, never know. So it's always good just to watch. And make sure everything's working correctly. Uh, it's almost flawless whenever you put one tractor in a field. When you have your problems, most of the time, it's when you have multiple tools in the field. And uh, that can definitely cause some problems if you're not set up completely right. And then, even if you're set up completely right, Sometimes that doesn't matter. You still have problems. So, but it looks like this guy's got it down. And he's skipping a row just like he's supposed to. So we'll get uh, over into another tractor and we'll get him started. Alright, I've got this guy already set up. Let's bring up the small HUD. We've got a temporary course in him. We want to start the first waypoint and we are going to plant uh, canola. Let's just tell him to go to work. And likewise, this guy is set up to skip a row. And I think you'll find that on all your large equipment, your big, big equipment, you're better off to skip a row because it just makes it a lot easier for them to get turned around at the end of the field. So, yes. But we'll do the same with this guy. We're gonna wait until, uh, we're gonna watch him get turned around at the end of the field and uh, just make sure there isn't any problems. So 
Well, I'll get back with you when we get just a little closer. All right, we're about to reach the end of the field. And like I said, we just want to keep an eye on him. Uh, he's uh, the only tractor in this field. And everything should go exactly right. But you never know. So we'll just keep an eye on him. Once he gets this first turn done, uh, then we can just let him go at it. And uh, once we get, once we find out he's going to make this turn just fine, uh, then we'll go and we're going to, we've got another big bud set up with an 84 inch toolbar, air cart, start planting in another field uh, down here on the southern part of this farm. So, uh, like I said earlier, today is just going to be a big planting day. We've got to get some crops in the ground. Get them growing. Alright, now, as you can see, he's not He's not leaving a full swipe there. That's that's perfectly fine because what he's doing is compensating for the width of the field. So what that means is he's going to skip a row all the way to the other side of this field. And then whenever he gets to the other side, then he'll come back and pick up all the swipes or all the uh, rows that he missed or skipped. And this will be the first one and it'll be a narrow row because of the width of the field. So everything is going great. So let's just let him get on with it and let's go get another tractor started. All right, we're over here in another field. Uh, again, I've already got this guy programmed in uh, to save some time because we've got a lot of planting to do. So let's just get tell him to go to work. And he is also planting canola. All right, he's off to a good start. So we'll just keep an eye on him, make sure that uh, he gets turned around correctly. And, uh, we're going to see if we can get some seed in the ground on this farm. Uh, we've got three tractors planting right now. Three different fields. Yeah. That's the way to get it done. Uh, if you don't have seed in the ground growing, then obviously you're not going to have anything to harvest later. So... <laughs> And I want to tell you something, on this big commercial farm, there is always something to do. We've still, and I know I mentioned this in the videos, and we are going to get to it real soon. Uh, there's still three big fields of sunflower seeds up there that needs to be harvested. So, yes, <laughs> we are going to get to them. We have to get to them. So, anyway... Uh, we'll watch this guy, make sure he gets turned around correctly. Yeah, I'm sure he will. He's the only tool in this field. Now, uh, this field is smaller than the other two that we have uh, tractors planting in. But, uh, that's okay. Whenever he gets done with this field, then we'll get him in another field. It's not a problem. So, <laughs> it's not like we're going to run out of run out of fields to plant. Uh, not today. So anyway, let's just make sure he gets turned around correctly, and then we'll go check on our first tractor 
and uh, that's planting cotton and uh, see how he's getting along. All right. Now he'll have to compensate for the width of this field also. So he may leave a little bit of a swipe and then this field may be a little wider than the other one that you saw. So, all right. He's gotten turned around correctly. He's skipping a row just like he's supposed to. Can't ask for anything better than that. All right, we're going to go check on our guy that's planting cotton. All right, yeah, he's doing a great job. Great job. So, he's skipping a row. Everything looks great. Now, he's got a ways to go. He's got a lot of planting, planting to do. And this is where a lot of your expense comes in, is putting the seed and fertilizer in the ground. Uh, you pay out a lot of labor, a lot of seed costs, a lot of fertilizer, but, uh, you know, that's just the way it is uh, on any type of farming. It doesn't just have to be commercial farming. Uh, if you've got a little hobby farm, uh, if you're going to put seed in the ground, that seed's going to cost you. That fertilizer is going to cost you. Uh, and if you don't do it yourself and you hire somebody to do it, that's going to cost you. Now, with commercial farming, yes, these fields are bigger. And, uh, you know, the seed cost and fertilizer cost may be greater than it would be on a hobby farm. But then the harvest is also bigger, and the and the uh, whenever you go to sell your crops, you know, the yield is also bigger. So yeah, it all evens out. It all works out. It's just the cash flow on these type of farms, you've got to have the money to operate them, and uh, I just comes with time you just keep planting and keep harvesting until you build your build your bankroll up and uh, then you've got the the uh, cash flow in order to keep going all right we're gonna let these guys get on with their planting and we'll check back with them in a little bit all right well this guy is getting right along now he's in a rather big field uh, which is twice as big as uh, the other planter the other big bud uh, this field is twice as big as the one that he's planting but uh, yeah he's getting along doing exactly what he's supposed to be doing skipping a row and he's headed to the other side of the field. Great job. Okay, well let's get over and let's check on our other big bud. See what he's doing. All right. Well, he's getting along just fine also. Very good. Good deal. Excellent job. He's doing what he's supposed to be doing. Skipping a row. And, uh, yes, like I said, the other big bud in the field that he's planting is twice as big as this one. So, uh, we'll be able to put this guy into another field uh, sooner than we will the other one. Actually, the other two. Uh, because uh, that uh, John Deere... Uh, uh, 8RX he is uh, planting cotton over there and the field that he's in is over 400 acres so <laughs> yes all right well we're gonna let these guys get right along with it and 
we'll check back with them uh, back in with them in a little bit all right well this guy is getting right along he's planting him some cotton he's got a lot of it to plant so but everything looks great skipping the rows as he's supposed to and he's working his way over to this side of the field so great job he'll get there pretty quickly it looks like so oh yeah and whenever he does and he'll start working his way back all right well we're just gonna let these guys get on with their planting and uh, hopefully by the end of the day uh, we'll have some seed in the ground <laughs> anyway we'll get back with them here in a little while all right we're checking in on this guy uh, he's the one that's planting canola in the big field up here it looks like uh, he's about to make it to the other side and of course whenever he does then he'll start making his way back to where he came from picking up all the rows that he has skipped so oh yeah looking great Good job. All right. Big bud just pulling. That's <laughs> those big buds, they do a great job. They are powerful. All right. Well, we'll get over and we'll check on our other guy in the other field planting canola. It looks like he has made it to the other side of the field and he is working his way back. All right. Good job. Yeah, he's doing a great job. All right. Well, whenever he gets done, we'll just put him in a different field. We'll get some seed put in the ground today. All right. Uh, I guess we can go check on our guy that's uh, planting cotton over there and see how they're doing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they had come a long way. And they still got a long way to go. They haven't made it to the side of the field yet, but that's okay. It won't be long and they'll be to that side of the field and then they'll start working their way back. So, absolutely. Great job. All right, that young lady is really doing a good job. Good deal. All right, no problems anywhere. Everything is going just like clockwork, going just like we want it to go. You can't ask for any better than that. We'll just let them keep on with their keeping on. All right, well, this guy made it to the other side of the field and now he's working his way back. Great job, good deal. And it won't be too awful long and he'll have his field done. So, that's great. 
making progress. All right, <clears throat> let's get over and check on our uh, uh, guy in the other field, uh, planting canola, and see how he's getting along. All right, it looks like he made it to the other side of the field, and he's on his way back too. Good job. All right. Yeah, we're getting some fields planted. Great. All right. Well, uh, I guess we probably should go over and check on our uh, uh, John Deere that's planting cotton and see how well he's getting along. All right. Well, this guy has made it to the other side of the field and he is on his way back picking up the rows that he skipped good deal all right that's what i call planting <laughs> excellent all right well we can get over and check on our other guys and see how much progress they've made All right, <clears throat> looks like this guy is finishing up his field right here. So we'll take him over and we'll put him in another field. Good deal. All right. Well, we'll take him over. We'll put him in another field. And whenever we get to the other field, I'll get right back with you. All right, <clears throat> we're over here at another field. We're going to get him started in this field. So let's bring our HUD up. And first thing we want to do is clear the other course out of him. And we want to make a new course. All right. We'll create a job. Field position. Right about there. Generate the course. Everything looks good there. Now let's generate the field work course. And he's got that done. Let's bring up the small HUD. We've got the temporary course in there because we didn't save the course. Start the first waypoint. Let's just tell him to get on with it. He's planting canola. All right. As you can see, the go sign and the stop sign were real close together. Which means, uh, yeah, he's going to have to compensate for the width of this field. So... All right, well, we'll make sure he gets turned around okay down here, and we'll let him get on with it. All right, we're getting down here close to the end of the field, and we just want to make sure that he gets turned around okay. Uh, that's just kind of a habit that I have gotten into because uh, if you're going to have any problems, most of the time, it's going to be on that first turnaround. If they get that first turnaround done, uh, then you're pretty well good to go. So, it's just a habit that I'm in of always watching them on that first turnaround. This is all big equipment, and uh, you never know. You never know what will go wrong. All right, now I knew this was going to be a skinny, a skinny row, and maybe if it's a skinny row at all. All right, well, he's supposed to be skipping a row, so we'll keep an eye on him. 
and see how he gets along. All right, well, uh, <clears throat> this is the guy that we have planting canola in the big field. And as you can see, he's on his way back to the other side, uh, picking up all the rows that he skipped. Great job. Good deal. Uh, our other guy planting canola over there. Uh, he got it figured out and he's skipping a row and uh, won't take him long and he'll have that field knocked out. So this has been a pretty good day. We've gotten a lot of seed in the ground. Everything is working great. So let's go check on our guy planting cotton. Oh yeah, yeah he's coming right along. Excellent. He's on his way back, picking up the rows that he skipped. So that's a good deal. All right. Well, I guess we'll call this a video. Uh, if you've liked this content, please go down there and give me a like. I'd sure appreciate it. If you haven't had a chance to subscribe, Please go down there and subscribe to my channel. Uh, that would just make my day. It would just be awesome. Uh, if you'd like to share this video with someone that you know would enjoy it, please do. I'd also like to give a big shout out to all my subscribers. I appreciate each and every one of you. Uh, if you haven't uh, went down and rang that bell yet, go down there and ring the bell. Uh, that way you'll get notifications every time I post a video. And then you can choose to watch it when you want to or if you want to. So, but anyway, if you want to get the notifications, you've got to ring that bell. But as for me, the dirt road farmer, I guess we're going to call this a day. And as always, thank you for watching.